We have a new card that shares the most expensive sports cards title with the 1952 Topps Mickey Mantle graded PSA 9 and it's the LeBron James Exquisite RPA number 23. What does this mean for LeBron James cards? Let's find out. What's going on guys? Matt here, back again with another video. Before we get into it, smash the like button and hit subscribe if you enjoy sports card content. I try to post every three days and comment down below what you guys think of this crazy sale. So news broke overnight that PWCC brokered a sale where the LeBron James card went for $5.2 million US. This news officially makes this card the most expensive basketball card ever sold, along with tying the record for the most expensive sports card ever sold. Like I mentioned in a previous year, LeBron actually said he owns a couple of these exquisite RPAs himself. A high graded version of this card actually sold for $1.8 million US in July last year at Golden Auctions. So you'd have to imagine if the owner of that card sold that card right now it'd probably fetch a higher price another lebron exquisite rpa numbered to 99 with the same grade also sold for 1.72 million dollars us less than 48 hours beforehand weirdly enough lebron has now been injured for 36 days which is now his longest injury layoff since he started playing and typically when players are injured for a long period of time we see a fall in their card prices this highlights how the needle doesn't really move much with your high-end cards for your blue chip players regardless of injury now what are the implications for you guys now this sale Firstly, if you're a LeBron collector or investor, this is great news for you guys. Earlier this year, if you remember, two of Michael Jordan's FLIR rookie PSA 10 cards sold for $738,000 US each. And like I explained in my alternative sports card trend video that you may not know, when people are priced out of getting their chase card, they look for alternative cards to buy up. So after the FLIR PSA 10 card went up, people went for the 1985 Nike promo Michael Jordan card, as we can see in the spike for the PSA 10 here. And as we can see for MJ's 1987 FLIR PSA 10, this also received a massive spike, which has since dropped. With this new LeBron sale, I'd expect alternatives of the LeBron exquisite RPAs to start flying up. Now, LeBron actually has a true rookie autograph, unlike Michael Jordan, so I'd look for his lower end rookie autograph to go up first. And I also think this is a great buying opportunity for LeBron's other rookie cards as well. Let's look at the data for LeBron's rookie cards through market movers. Over the past seven days, LeBron is down just over 2%. And moving that to 14 days, and that number rises to 7.55%. We now go to 30 days, and that moves to 9.44%. And finally to 60 days, and that number is 26%. A drop of 26% for the man who some regard as being the GOAT, not including myself, but you've also got to remember that the Lakers are probably going to be challenging for another championship this season. And looking at some of his other iconic rookie cards, his Topps Chrome PSA 10 over the past 90 days has dropped from $32,000 US back down to $23,000 US and is trending down. Another example being the paper version in the Topps PSA 10 coming down 35% from its peak of $11,500 US to $7,500 US. Personally, in my own case, I'm gonna be transparent and say I'm not gonna be buying any LeBron rookie cards because of all the funds I've got tied up in other cards. If I did have the cash, however, I would be definitely pushing for a nice LeBron rookie. You can't buy every opportunity you see, but it's a lesson learned not to overspend and not to buy into debt. That's it for today's video. I appreciate it if you've made it till the end. Let me know down below what your thoughts are on this topic. And as always, guys, I'll see you guys in future videos. Take care. <laughs>